Hey, good morning everybody. Trevor Rice with you on our early Monday morning, getting ready for another vlog here as we're going to record and do Monday morning with the mayor, with our mayor Kevin Cotton, Brad Long as co-host on the show, and we're going to do a couple of other things throughout the day, so come along for the ride as usual. Just working on a church program right now. So this is Lively Stone. I got it down to 30 minutes right now, so I'm going to save this to where it needs to go because, well... We need to have this ready for uh, for Sunday. I like that they give it to me early so I could just knock it out first thing Monday morning. So let's go ahead and find the folder that I'm trying to save it to. And let me, let me save it now. And now that it's saving, you see it with... This is Cool Edit Pro. This is an old program, but it still works pretty effectively for what I do. Commercial production, PSAs, shows, things like that. Works very conveniently. See, over here would look like an absolute mess to everybody, having all of those files. But being the unorganized but controlling person that I am, like, I, I have a grasp on everything that I do. Even though it seems like I'm completely lost sometimes. I do have a... it's like, a, it's like an art at this point. Somebody might see all those files and be overwhelmed. Yeah, and, and that, it's been it's bittersweet, I guess, right? So um, there's been some positive comments, there's been some negative comments, there, there's some that think that that's going to put people out of business, there's some that think that it's the greatest thing that's ever happened in Madisonville. Um, you know, so what, what we look at when, when we see that a national chain like that, they, they are the ones that selected Madisonville. We, we did not go after them, we have not had a meeting with Starbucks, we've not... Um, intentionally tried to recruit them. That was an announcement that was even a surprise to all of us mm -hmm. when they came in and said, this is what's going on this corner. And, and, and to clarify, the corner you're referring to is the old Pizza Hut building there by Kroger. Yeah, the old Pizza Hut building. So they're going to tear that building down. And there were some discussions about that on social media. Well, why don't, we, why don't you use that same building? Well, because Starbucks has its own brand and they have their own building that they want to build. So they need that building to be gone. That will become the parking lot. It is... Um, it's a recognized uh, chain, it's a recognized coffee brand that, you know, when you get off of the interstate and you see that Starbucks sign, uh, there's a good chance that you're going to stop. Um, if you're driving north and south on 69 and you're looking for something, um, for, for coffee, just to kind of get you to the next couple of hours, they're going to stop at Starbucks, right? So a big announcement like that. Uh, that that was a kind of a teaser announcement because they kind of mentioned the rest of the announcement that is 150, 155,000 square feet. 155,000 square foot, thirty million dollar development, and that is huge. That's the, it's the biggest development that Madisonville has seen in years, as far from as from a retail. Yeah, around. absolutely. And yes, there's going to be several stores in there. They won't announce those stores until they make their big groundbreaking announcement. Um, and that's coming up hopefully in the next Month. three weeks, mm -hmm. maybe four weeks. Uh, we hope it's, it's up to the developers of when they want to do that. But that is a, that's a big, it's a big move for Madisonville. And, you know, we, one of the, one of our goals is to, to get out and market Madisonville and what's going on and to try to recruit new retail um, developers and new retail stores to move to Madisonville based off of information that they don't have. And so for, for them to invest $30 million into Madison, wow. $30 million investment yeah. that they are making, that the development group is making into Madison, that's big. That means something for our community. No doubt. But what excites me is the fact that Madisonville, Kentucky is now on the map for national national brands and, and, and chains, and that means that there is progress happening in Madisonville. Any progress is better than no progress, whether you like it, you know, the, the brand or the chain or, or whatever the product they're selling. You know, you don't have to like it. We're not asking you to, to go in and, and buy a latte. I don't even know how to order coffee. But, but it's good because that means that people are noticing Madisonville. Well, and the thing is, is the, the more of those national uh, chains that we can get uh, looking at Madison, you know, it creates a buzz. So when, when we're out doing our retail recruitment, we're going to the conferences to, to share who Madisonville is and what we're about. 
it, it just it adds to that fuel, sure. right? And yep. it just keeps those conversations going. Because it was interesting, if you noticed, that some of the folks that we talked to in Nashville were kind of working together with other like-name yep. um, franchises. Mm-hmm. So uh, I thought that was interesting. Um, so that buzz had already happened. And then sure. we've, since Nashville, we've already had several people reach out to us to want to talk to us, come in, look at the community. They want us to give them a tour. Uh, the, the older franchise uh, yeah. as well. So, and then we'll be going to another conference, and several of the folks that we talked to in Nashville wanted to meet with us when we go to the next conference to say, "This is where we're at in the process." And, yeah, and, and you know, Frank Wallace, they were able to meet with him that day, and he called me. And so, actually, I called him just to check and make sure everything was good, and, and he says, "Listen, Mayor." I, I, I've never had an opportunity to just walk right into a meeting with planning and zoning and, and the building official. Yeah, it just it doesn't happen. Right. Not only did they did they meet with him, but they met with him on site and was able to give him the information he needed immediately. And he said other communities had been six months before they could have got in. So that's exciting. There's growth. There's a lot of lot to to smile about. Um, Exciting things happening here in Madisonville. Now, this weekend we were talking a little bit before we went on air. You and I were both out of town, um, but we had a, a, another episode, if you want, another uh, series in our summer, summer concert series. Um, we had uh, this past weekend one of the best crowds we've had all summer. Really hope that the community continues to show up um, and support these local artists. That's one thing that we heard um, over the last few months is we want more local talent, we want more regional talent. Um, we, we are, we've worked hard, Lucy Best, our events director, has worked hard with Heath Eric and the Eric Group to bring some of that more um, up-and-coming talent to the Summer Concert Series at First United Bank Plaza. That happened this weekend. I am now, August 26th, two weeks from this past Saturday, I'm excited. I know it. Uh, Kelsey Hart from Muhlenberg County, um, who happens to be the brother of, of Kobe Hart, one of our uh, police officers, uh, is going to be here. Now, Kelsey... Again, I'm not a big um, country music guru, but from what I hear, Kelsey is really on the the, the rise. Um, was actually in Nashville this weekend um, as we were heading back into town from Kansas City, and he has a billboard in Nashville, yeah. um, um, kind of mar- the new song. marketing one of his new songs. Yeah, and, and I mean he and you talk about some a, a true story of endurance and not giving up and. He, he's that story. I, yeah. I remember when, when I lived in Muhlenberg County, um, we had a, a restaurant over in Muhlenberg County as well. So uh, even during those times, he was just trying to get his uh, feet wet and get started and, and get his name out there. And he just, he hasn't given up. Yeah. Let's record some voice tracks here for the afternoon. Uh, Monday, it's cloudy, kind of depressing. I'm ready to go back to bed. I uh, want to... Thank you all for watching my videos, and we'll do a few tracks here, following up what we did Monday morning with the mayor. Some big, exciting things coming to the city of Madisonville. I'm pretty excited about some of the the happenings, the businesses who are showing interest in this community. Let's go ahead and get right into this, shall we? Going on after Casey and the Sunshine Band. Hey, it's Casey and the Sunshine Band. We could use some sunshine here today. After all the cloud cover, the thunderstorms we got this morning, I'm ready for the sun to make its presence known here in Western Kentucky on Classic Kids 1069 WTTL. Trevor Rice hanging out with you. We'll look at this day on the National Day calendar coming up. Later on, like I promised, we'll educate you with some facts today. We'll play your lost classic. And I am going to be out and about on location this weekend. I'll tell you where I'll be coming up. And that is number one. Let's get to the next one. Today is Monday, August 14th, and today we're looking at the National Day Counter. What is today? Today is Navajo Code Talkers Day, apparently. I have been where the Navajo Indian tribe is. There's a lot of desert out there in the Four Corners region of the country. Today is Financial Awareness Day, apparently. It's Creamsicle Day. Wiffle Ball Day is today, and today is also World Lizard Day. It's Tattoo Removal Day as well. 
some interesting things we recognize on the National Day calendar. Let's go ahead and do this next one. We're going on after Phil Collins here. Susudium. Phil Collins. It's on Classic Hits 26.9 WTTL. Cruising here on your lunch hour. Glad you're spending it with us as we look at this day on the National Day calendar. Today is Financial Awareness Day, a day to add up all your assets and all your debts in order to get a clear picture of where you stand right now. And <laughs> with inflation and everything going on in our world, we're probably all in debt up to our eyeballs at this point. Today is Tattoo Removal Day. Do you regret a tattoo that you've gotten in your life? There might be one or two that uh, somebody listening, you may not admit it out loud, you may have that, you may be that person that has the tattoo that you regret getting. Today's also Wiffle Ball Day, and it is World Lizard Day. What's your favorite lizard? We had iguanas growing up, and we did. We had a couple. Buddy Buddy and Little Girl. May they rest in peace. Break number three this hour. Just a little glimpse of behind-the-scenes look of what I do here on the air what I look like when I'm speaking. I don't look much different outside of maybe wearing a different station t-shirt or station work shirt. That's not a t-shirt. It's a, what do you call these, polos, I guess. Um, it looks more presentable when we're out on location doing something. Or just here in the studio. If people are driving by and they see me, maybe they think I look nice. Or maybe they just drive by and don't even pay any attention to me. That could be a thing as well. Let's go ahead and get into this next one. We're going on after a commercial break. What do we want to talk about coming? Oh, yeah, we need to talk about where we're going to be this weekend. That is what I need to do. Let's do that. Let's do that. Hey, just a reminder of where I will be. Trevor Rice hanging out with you this afternoon before we get you back to the music. Friday, the first financial bank holiday world summer tour will continue. We're going to be at the North Main Street branch, first financial bank. Join us one to two this Friday for a chance to win some holiday world tickets. And then Saturday, we're going to be on South Main Street and hanging out 1 to 3 p.m. at Griffin Auto Sales. They are having a fundraiser cornhole tournament for the Hopkins County Humane Society. We hope you can join us at both locations Friday and Saturday this weekend. On the way, I have music from Cheap Trick, Madonna. Let's get back to it with Cheryl Crow. All I want to do on Classic Hits 106.9 TTL. Number three is a wrap. Let's get ready to do the fourth break now. I had to re-record this one some voice tracking right now. I may or may not have forgotten what I was going to talk about. And that happens. I have so many thoughts going on in my head throughout the day, including doing this, that sometimes I just lose my train of thought and I have no idea what I'm talking about. I did know what I was talking about and then I did not know what I was talking about. That happens more times than not. I don't know if you have those first world problems, but they happen to me quite frequently. Now, let's go on after Madonna, shall we? Hey, it's Madonna. Open your heart on Classic Hits 26.9 WTTL. Cruising here on your Monday lunch hour. High school football will go on this Friday. Week one kickoff action. North Hopkins will be on the road at Union County. That'll be a 7 p.m. kickoff on 103.5 Delight. Here on 106.9 WTTL, it'll be Hopkins County Central at home against Caldwell. And then Webster County will be taking on, I think it's Crittenden County, at home over in Dixon. That'll be this Friday. All three games kickoff is at 7 p.m. Webster County will be on Nash. Hopkins County Central, 106.9, WTTL, and then 103.5 The Light will have North Hopkins. There's a lot of football to talk about, and it's all going on this Friday. Oh, it is. One more for this vlog, anyway. There will be plenty more in the future for all of you, just in case you were wondering. Not that you wanted to know, or needed to know, or cared to know, but now you know. Hopefully you are not biting the dust here. Another one bites the dust, Queen, here on Classic Hits 106.9 TTL. As we get ready to wrap up the lunch hour, we are celebrating birthdays here in the month of August. We're about halfway through the month. Go and share your birthday with us on our TTL Facebook page. Give us the name, date, and age of somebody you know who might be celebrating. They have a chance 
to win a Dairy Queen ice cream birthday cake. We'll announce the winner the last workday of the month. Good luck and happy birthday to all of those celebrating. That was a wrap on that. I totally forgot to put a wrap on the previous vlog, I guess Monday's vlog, and so I'm doing that with this clip right here. Thanks for checking out today's video, and come back for more. There's going to be a lot of vlog posts here in the upcoming days and weeks, so I hope that you can follow along, give a subscription, like my videos, watch the videos. That's the best way you can help me. Be good to one another. We'll see you in the next one.